Duality is the key theme that links to everything in Jekyll and Hyde. After this video, you're gonna have three different ways you can talk about in your essays to impress your teacher. Number three will genuinely blow your teacher away. Idea number one, use this grade nine idea in your Jekyll and Hyde essays. Duality is inherent and irrepressible. So inherent, it's within us, irrepressible, we can't get rid of it, we can't repress it. So this illustrates that duality, so that conflicting side of man, cannot be separated or repressed out because we are born with it. It is innate. So when humans are born, they are born with this dual side. So the idea of Victorian society putting so much pressure on individuals like Jekyll, like the Victorian gentleman, to put on this respectable facade, mask, is futile. It's pointless. Because if duality is innate, no matter how much of a facade, so a mask, that these Victorian gentlemen put on, it will not extract, it will not eradicate their true dual nature. So that is why Stevenson intentionally crafts it as almost this innate part of man. It's innate within Jekyll. And if Jekyll is symbolic of Victorian gentlemen as a whole, he is illustrating that it's innate to mankind and therefore it is futile for Victorian society to encourage repression. Idea number two. Now this idea about duality will instantly boost your Jekyll and Hyde essay. The duality in Jekyll is a microcosm for Victorian society. Now a microcosm is just something small representing something larger. So Jekyll is one small character, he represents at large the Victorian gentleman of the time. So the fact that Jekyll possesses this duality, and he's a microcosm for Victorian society, it illustrates that duality permeates, so it's almost spread, throughout the entirety of society. No matter the standard of the Victorian gentleman, or how proper and how aligned they are with these social codes and these social expectations, everybody possesses duality. Even if it's a nuanced sense of duality, so nuance is like subtle, every single character possesses it. So if we look at even Enfield, the character right at the beginning, who's the one who witnesses Hyde, he even possesses this nuanced sense of duality. He even has this dual side, insane analysis, on this nuanced sense of duality in Jekyll and Hyde on the Light Up Hub, which if you put in your exam or your essays, the examiner's gonna be like, wow, wow, wow. I'll also stick some free lessons in the description below for Jekyll and Hyde for you. So it is ironic that this era, the Victorian era, was obsessed with propriety. It's like conforming to the social standards and social order, yet there was this real darkness of poverty, crime, and social unrest within society, which could all link back to the fact that everybody possessed this dual side, even if it was nuanced. And idea number three, this is the one that you've been waiting for. This idea of duality will practically force your teacher to give you a grade nine. So duality is caused because of a battle between society's wants and the instincts of man. Now we can actually directly link this to Freud's psychoanalytic theory. Now I'm gonna put a link above here to a detailed analysis of Freud's psychoanalytic theory if you haven't seen it already, but just to very, very briefly cover it. So Freud believed the subconscious brain was split into three parts, the id, the ego, the superego. The id was the animalistic part of man, the animal instincts. The ego is there to balance the id's wants and the super ego's wants, and the super ego was there to conform to society standards. So, how we could think this, Jekyll's dual nature is caused by his conflict between the id, which is Hyde, the animalistic instincts, I think Hyde's very animalistic in his presentation, and Jekyll's super ego. Think about Jekyll, he conforms to the Victorian standards of propriety, being a proper Victorian gentleman, so therefore that conflict between the instinctual desires, the id's desires, which is high, and society's wants and needs, as shown through the super ego of Jekyll, that causes duality. That causes the conflict because they're incoherent. They don't work well together. Society's wants of being a moral, respectable Victorian gentleman completely conflicts with this animalistic desire to indulge in your instincts. So I think Hyde has these beastly wants, whereas Jekyll understands these stringent, it's like really strict social expectations and conforms to them. So you can use these in your next essay, guys, to completely up-level it. The third one is so, so nice and insightful. And remember, this all comes from the Light Up Hub, so do check it out if you want more things like this in more detail. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and also comment as well, guys, what you wanna see, what videos you wanna see next, 
because whatever you guys comment, we have a look at and we'll try our best to make videos that help you guys best. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.